Hi guys, okay, today we are going to be doing an empties video. Now, there's not as much as normal because I am moving in literally two days and tomorrow we will be packing absolutely everything up. So I don't want to take garbage with me. So I'm just gonna show you what I got accumulated. Like I said, not very much in here, but let's start off with a few household products. The first one is the Miss Myers Clean Day Multi-Service Everyday Cleaner in the Honeysuckle Scent. One of my absolute favorite. This smells absolutely amazing. And Miss Myers is by far my absolute favorite cleaning product or brand, I should say. So I definitely will repurchase this. I have backups already and I love, love, love this scent. By far one of my absolute favorite scents. You guys have heard me talk about this a million times. And then another Miss Myers product is the um, hand soap. This is the dish soap, biodegradable and cuts grease, which it really does. And this is in the mint scented. This is the limited edition scent, but if you guys can find the mint scent, get it. If you like mint, this is a amazing scent. My favorite time of year to use this is around the holiday time because mint I associate with like peppermint and things. So I love this. And two hand soaps by Smartly. These are the liquid hand soaps. One that smells like the ocean, which is a very masculine scent. I like, I would repurchase. And this is the smells like summertime scent. Both really nice scents. I like this brand. It's Target's brand of hand soap. It's nice. I like it. I would repurchase it. And it's only like 99 cents if I'm not mistaken. And then we have some nails. I, these are actually the nails I have on now. These are the Sassy and Chic 12-piece uh, glue not included fun and easy to apply nails. These are really easy to go on. Some of them are a little crooked. Don't mind that. That's my application. Uh, they fit nicely. I've had them on for three days and they haven't chipped or broken off. And I just filed my nails and then glued, put the glue on it and then stuck these on and they've held on nicely. So I would repurchase these. And then I have these. These are the Nature's Bounty Hair Skin and Nails Gummies with Biotin. 200 or, yeah, 2,500 milligrams per serving. Skin and hair nutrition, nutrition, nutrients. 80 gummies. I like these. I take, took these for a very long time when I was trying to grow my hair out. It worked. They were nice. I liked them. I, I'm just, I don't need them right now. I'm good. I would not repurchase them at the moment, but in the future, if I want more hair skin and nails gummies, those are the brand I would repurchase. And then two deodorants. One is the Degree Motion Spray. This is the Dry Spray Ultra Clear Black and White. This is nice. I, like it worked. I didn't smell or anything. However, I don't like spray deodorants because they smell so bad. When you're spraying it, if you inhale any of that, which you're not really supposed to, but if you do, oh my god, it's awful. Yeah, I don't like spray deodorants. I will stick to my natural deodorants. I just had a sample of this and I was, and I wanted to use it. Same thing with this. My husband didn't want to use it, so I was like, whatever, I will. This is the Dove Men Care Dry Spray. This is the Clean Comfort 48 Hour Powerful Protection. And it's got antiperspirant, which I mean, it works. It's nice, but I don't like spray deodorants. And the smell is god awful. It's Terrible. Next, let's move on to toothpaste. This is the Colgate Optic White Renewal. Renewal Removes 10 years of stains. I don't know if it actually removes 10 years of stains. However, this is the toothpaste I like and prefer. I currently have another one already. This is the toothpaste I will continue to buy if I need to buy full size. I just, I like it. A perfume I have is the Rue ETC or etc. Perfume. This is in my project pan. I would not repurchase this. Uh, the scent was okay. Not my favorite. However, I'm not a big perfume person. So I, like I've said many, many, many times, I'm trying to go through all my perfumes and then narrow it down to one or two that I want to actually buy. And this would not be one. I also have this native lavender and rose bar soap. I use this to clean my brushes. I wouldn't repurchase this specific uh, bar soap. It's just expensive for what it is. And this was so kindly sent to me by native. I like the bar soap in general. However, like I said, I only use it to clean my brushes. So a cheap dollar store one will do, but it's nice. It's bar soap. I have an eye drop. This is the Up and Up Eye Drops Maximum Mom Redness Relief. I like this. I will continue to purchase this. I mean, if I see this again, it's whatever. I'll repurchase it. I have very dry eyes and this helps with that. And then let's pull out some packets and things because there's quite a few of them in here. Okay, so the first one I have is this Target Beauty Cooling Gel iPads. I didn't like these. They were two different iPads and you froze them and then used them. I just, I didn't like them. They, no, they were not for me. I prefer the ones that like actually stick to your eyes and you peel off. On that same note, I have the cooling gel lip mask. Again, didn't like this. I, it didn't stick to my lips. Like I had to physically hold it on there and I'm not going to sit there and hold it on my lips for 15 minutes. No, thank you. 
Okay, this one's not even a makeup item. This is a Sheer Scents Fresh Linen uh, Crystal Bead Refill. I This scent is not my favorite by any means. It's very light, very, very light to the point where like I had to shake it the other day. It was like, is this even still working? Because it's completely full, but there's like, almost no fragrance to it. Would not repurchase that scent in particular. And then I have this, which is a wallflower this is just the scent i don't have the actual wallflower but this is cinnamon spiced vanilla it smells amazing it's currently in my plug-in now and then i have this. this is the star skin foaming peeling puff this was a little puff you mixed with some solution in here and some water and you washed your skin with it it was really nice i really did like it for what it was however i wouldn't repurchase it because to me it's like makeup wipes it's one of those things you use one or two times and then you toss it and it's just not good for the environment i'm trying to be a little better about that this so i really did like this is the good molecules clarify and cleanse bar soap free cleansing bar to help maintain a clear complexion for acne prone skin i got this as a sample and it's literally a pretty much bar soap that you use to wash your face it leaves your face feeling very very uh almost dry but not in a bad way like it it's like that it feels clean it's like that streaky clean almost which i don't mind i don't use it every day just because of that but it and my skin isn't dry after i use it it just feels like that squeaky clean like you would get with a bar of soap i I mean, I don't notice it helping with breakouts terribly too much. I mean, my skin hasn't been breaking a lot, out a lot in general, but it is nice and I would, I would, I would repurchase it or if I got it again, I would use it. And then I have this. This is the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Gels. I like these a lot. I love eye patches and these were really nice. They are really pricey though, so I don't know if I would repurchase them just because of the price. And then this is the LA Colors Lip Jelly. It was a lip mask. It was okay. Not my favorite. I have not found a lip mask that I absolutely love just because a lot of them do not stay on my lips at all. And then I have this. This is the hair mask. This is the Argan Oil from Morocco. Strengthen, restore, restore, and smooth dry damaged hair. It was okay. I was able to get two uses out of this. I, I don't know. You guys, I'm not a big hair mask person. I just do them because I have them, but it was nice. Okay, and then let's move on to a few... Uh, this this is what i think is leaking everywhere this is the h2o melon mask it's a pink watermelon sheet mask no i got this as a gift and this was terrible so this is by pink which if i'm not mistaken this is the victoria's secret brand which i don't support and this in general the mask itself was very alcoholy smelling so like you pull it out and it smelled like rub rubbing alcohol and it did no mm -mm. i left it on for like five minutes and i couldn't stand the smell anymore it didn't do anything for my skin either. I just didn't notice a difference and I just did not like it. These on the other hand were actually pretty nice. So these are SF and they're vegan and they are, I don't even know the brand. It just says suns out, pouts out, gold foil lip mask with cannabis sativa oil. It hydrates, soothes, smooths, and plumps. I didn't notice any plumping, but it did hydrate in, uh, my lips. And I liked that this wasn't one of the gel masks. It was a actual like, you know the ones you put on your under eyes? It was like that, but for my lips. So it actually stuck onto my lips, which I liked. And this is the same brand, just an eye mask, which again, it was really nice. Stuck onto my eyes and very hydrating. <clears throat> okay, now that we got those out of the way, let's move on to a few cleansers. The first one is this. This is the Oatmeal Face Scrub with Organic Camellia Oil, Rice Callus Culture, and Marshmallow Extract. And it's by Fan Thon. I just didn't notice a difference with this, you guys. It was a scrub. It was a nice scrub, very gentle. Uh, it's just I didn't notice a difference at all. So I would not repurchase it. This, on the other hand, I did like and really would. Like, I have another one I will use. This is the Pure Lease Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. Gently cleanses skin, removes makeup, tones, and suits. Soap and sulfate free for all skin types. Now, I didn't notice it removing my makeup. However, this is a very gentle cleanser, which is really nice if my skin is going absolutely haywire and I've done a lot of like treatments or masks or things like that to try to combat that and I just need to get some oils off my skin this is perfect it's very very gentle for a very nice everyday cleanse and it's really really nice it doesn't irritate my skin doesn't do any of that a few more skincare products this is the it confidence in your beauty sleep uh skin transforming pillow cream I didn't like this it had a very strong scent if I'm not mistaken yeah, it's got a very strong perfumey scent, not my favorite. It was very, very thick, didn't want to settle into my skin. It was just not for me. 
The next one I also did not like, this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. This is almost sticky to the touch. So when you put it on, it leaves your under eyes very like tacky and sticky. I did not like that at all. It was super, super thick. Didn't want to set in and just no from me. This is the Heritage Store Rose Petal Rose Water Hydrating Face Mist mist soothes and tones skin i don't like rose scent i would not repurchase that for the scent alone it's just no if i'm gonna repurchase a mist on my own it's not gonna be rose scented this i got in i think a target beauty box and the last few products are makeup products this one is uh, this one is the clinique uh quick liner for eyes intense eyeliner in intense ebony so it was an eyeliner. Now, I didn't like this specifically because you twist it up and you can't twist it back down. So whatever you twist up, you have to use. And it transferred really, really bad. So like, you couldn't use this to line your eyes because you open your eyes and it transfers up onto your lid. I put it in my waterline. It would transfer to my lower, like my under eyes. It just, it was a no for me. And this is the last two products for my Project Pan. This is the In Beauty Project Power Up Dual Face Setting Mist. I like the product itself. I don't like the mister. I have another one I'm currently using up in my Project Pan as well. The product itself is really nice. There's skincare benefits. It's got aloe, witch hazel, electrolytes, which hydrates, clarifies, and energizes. And formulated with our Even Out Complex, which helps even your complexion no matter your tone. It's nice. I like what they're trying to do, but I don't like the mister on this. And this. This I would not repurchase whatsoever. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is so silicone-based. And for me and my skin, that breaks me out. And I do not like that at all. But you guys, like I said, this is a shorter empties than normal. And that is all the products that I have used up recently. Let me know what you guys think down below. Have you used any of these products? If so, what do you think? I love to hear your thoughts and opinions. That is all. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And I can't wait to see you the next one. Bye.